Hello friends, welcome to my new Java programming tutorial. Today we will discuss how to reverse a number in Java. So let's move ahead in Eclipse and code a program to reverse a number in Java. So friends, let's code a program to reverse a number in Java. Here I have created a class by the name reverse number having a main method. This method will be executed whenever the program is made to run. So Let's code our reverse number program in this main method. So in order to reverse a number, first we'll ask the user to enter a number. So to get user input, we'll first create a scanner object. In order to use scanner, we'll first import it. And to this scanner object, we'll pass a system dot in which is our input stream which helps scanner to read from the console so say if you want to say ask user to enter a number so here system.in will help the scanner class to read user input now we'll prompt the user to enter a number so for that we'll do a sysout So we are prompting the user to enter a number which he wants to reverse. So whatever the user enters on the console and as soon as he hit enter, so that value will assign it to a say original number. Say we'll do int original equals. So here we are assigning original variable the value scanner.nextInt. So what this scanner.nextInt does Say as soon as user enters an integer value and hit enter, then the scanner.nextInt takes that value and assign it to the original. So here original denotes the original number. We'll create few more variables say int, int reverse. Say initially we assign it to a zero because initially the reverse is zero. We we'll create another variable. Int remainder. Here remainder will help us in reversing a number. So let's move ahead. We'll create a while loop. In the while loop, we'll put a condition say till original. So here in while loop, we have placed a condition say loop till original becomes zero. So initially original has the value which user has entered. So this loop will say loop over that original and it will loop till the original value is doesn't equals zero. So let's code to how to reverse that original number in this while loop. So first we'll calculate the remainder. So here what we have done we have assigned remainder say we have taken the original number we have data modulus by 10 which will say divide the original number by 10 and whatever will be the remainder it will assign it to a remainder variable and then say reverse equals so what we have done we have assigned reverse variable say reverse into 10 plus the remainder so initially here when the loop starts with the first loop then reverse value is 0 so 0 into 10 becomes 0 and whatever the remainder comes we assign it to the reverse variable so for the first iteration the reverse would be say sub, uh, the reverse value will hold the remainder of the original so we'll move ahead and we'll see how it actually calculates the reverse of the variable of the number which user has entered so now original becomes so now what we have done we have done just made the original equals original divided by 10 so what it does it just removes the the unit digit say for the first iteration it removes the unit digit from the original value and assign it back to the original so how this while loop works suppose we are taking an example say original say original value is 502 and it enters the while loop so here 
original it will check that original is equal to zero or not so it will find the original is not equal to zero so it will go in the while loop and for the first it will calculate the remainder so 542 modulus 10 will give the remainder as 2 and this 2 will assign it to the remainder now here reverse initially is 0 so 0 into 10 will be 0 plus remainder which is 2 so reverse will hold the 2 value so for the first iteration remainder is 2 and reverse is 2 now the original number becomes say original divided by 10 so 542 divided by 10 becomes 54 and now loops again checks that whether 54 is equal to 0 or not so it's not equal to 0 then it moves ahead and again it's it says 54 modulus 10 which will be like 54 divided by 10 and whatever the remainder is say here it's it will become 4 and so the remainder for the second iteration will be 4 and the reverse what we said initially the reverse was 2 here 2 2 into 10 will become 20 20 plus 4 will give 24 so for this iteration the reverse has become 24 and the original has become say 54 original was 54 and divided by 10 will become 54 divided by 10 will give 5 so original now becomes 5 now this loop again goes into the while now this again iterates and checks with the original is less than uh, say original is equal to 0 so here original is still 5 so it will go inside the while loop it will now again say do the modulus of say 5 modulus 10 will give the remainder as 5 and here the reverse was 24 and 24 say reverse for second iteration was 24 so 24 into 10 will give 240 plus remainder gives the 20 245 so for this iteration the remain the reverse would become 245 and original would be like 5 divided by 10 which will be equal to say 0 so now while loop again checks that whether original is equal to 0 or not so here the original equals 0 so this condition returns the false and while loop breaks and finally if what we'll do we'll just sys out so the reverse of the original number would be like we'll just system out the reverse of the number is the reverse and if we run the program and if I enter the example we took in our this say tutorial 542 and I hit enter so the reverse of number is 245 so the number came out to be 245 and suppose we run the program again we pass 1 3 4 and it enter it gives us 4 3 1 so let's see in a different slide what happened with the number 1 3 4 so we'll move it to a, another slide and see what actually happened in the while loop so here in the while loop execution what did happen the initially the original number we entered was 134 then we took the remainder say 134 modulus 10 gave us the remainder 4 and initially reverse we took it it was 0 so 0 into 10 plus the remainder here gave us the reverse value 4 so we calculated the next original value say was 134 divided by 10 which was 13 so for the next loop this value was our input say it checked that whether original is equal to 0 or not so it was not equal to 0 so it moved into the loop and the original here it became 13 13 modulus 10 gave us the remainder 3 and here we took say 4 into 10 because 4 was our previous reverse value 4 into 10 gave 40 40 plus this remainder 3 gave us 43 and 13 which was our original number divided by 10 gave us the value 1 and this 1 was inputted 
to the next loop so 1 was not equal to 0 so this loop started execution so 1 1 modulus by 10 gave us 1 as a remainder so here initially reverse was 43 so 43 into 10 plus 1 the remainder gave us 431 which was the say which is the reverse value here 134 prints out to be 431 and when we do 1 by 10 we gives original value as 0 and this loop terminates when it checks it whether original is equal to 0 or not so whatever the user entered 134 it output it as 431 so friends this was the tutorial on how to reverse a number in java